The Eastern Cape government has launched the Eastern Cape Aviation School, which will form part of the 43 air schools in Port Alfred. This is a milestone in the education sector in the province, as this program is the first of its kind. The Eastern Cape Aviation School aims to establish a high school for aerospace science as part of a new model of public education focusing on science, technology, engineering and mathematics. And for more on this, we're now joined by Chief Director for Curriculum at the Eastern Cape Department of Education, Kulega Zibula. She joins us now via our video link. Um, Ma'am, thank you so much uh, for your time this evening here on SABC News. I mean, let's start off here. This is a big deal um, for the Eastern Cape and having this aviation school. Tell us more about it. Uh, good evening, Bali, and good evening to the viewers of SABC 404. Thank you for having us online. Uh, the Eastern Cape government um, is trying to intervene. And as you know, Eastern Cape is a developing province where its economy is mainly dependent on the knowledge and skills that are produced through her education system. So the education department now um, is trying to intervene on this venture. This is a partnership with 43 Air School that is situated in the Eastern Cape, in Port Alfred, where you will find that the majority or over 80% of the students that are there, they come from all over the world, mainly because the learners of the Eastern Cape cannot afford, or the parents of the Eastern Cape cannot afford to pay for the fees mm. that are charged at the institution. So the department came in, into partnership um, with Air 43 School so that we are planting a seed for a group of learners that are 16 years old that are doing grade 10. And in the end, they will end up at the Air School. They will be doing the normal CAPS curriculum and in certain days they will be uh, attending at the 43 Air School in order to be taken through the skills and the knowledge on the aerospace uh, um, curriculum. Mm. And this forms part of what uh, the Department, basic, Department of Basic Education is calling uh, the three-stream model. That is your academic, your technical, as well as your occupational streams, yeah. which is trying to offer skills and competences for a changing world. All right. And Atkule, I mean, this is a major I milestone. Yeah. I mean, this is a major milestone uh, for the people of the Eastern Cape, and more particularly, mm. uh, you know, those who have dreams and aspirations of becoming pilots or working in the aviation sector. How important is this initiative and, uh, you know, the development of this air school for, uh, most importantly, the younger generation in the Eastern Cape? It's very, very important in Bali, and everybody is excited about it. The, the learners that are in the project, because we call it a project since we're still piloting it, as well as their parents and everybody in the government, because we know that at the end of the day, there will be a return for the investments. The air transport sector, we know it employs over 70,000 people. And uh, these are the learners that the learners that have been chosen here mm. are the learners that would not have otherwise be able to access that institution under normal circumstances. Mm. Hence, the government is now intervening in this space. And talking about those learners, so very, maybe very important. Yeah. And talking about those learners, you know, what is the criteria then used? I know that you went through a number of, uh, you know, people with uh, math skills and, uh, you know, all those relevant uh, details. But what is the criteria um, for, you know, those learners who will be able to take advantage of this opportunity? The criteria, Mbali, is mainly on performance. These are learners who are high performers in mathematics, in physical science, in English. And so that is, that is how the selection process also was done. These are the learners that have been performing very well for over the years in these subjects. And therefore, we have hopes that they will, be take, they, they will perform better uh, going forward. And, and therefore, they will be able to manage the courses that are offered at the 43 S school for them to be one day either engineers or pilots, uh, you name it. 
through the 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 the, the, the intervention of government mm. in the and, space. And give us a picture, you know, in terms of the enthusiasm when it comes to those who have been selected. How excited are they to be part of uh, you know uh, this project or uh, this program? It's really one of a kind. Indeed, they are very, very excited. You know, these are children, mainly they come from the most rural areas of the Eastern Cape because we've selected learners from all over the province and in from what we call no-fee schools, your quintile one, two and three learners. So for them, it's really an excitement even to come to Port Alfred and be exposed to an air school and the government is 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 paying for for through the the strategic partnerships uh, with donors and, and 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 sponsors your department of transport your air transport and navigation services they are they are assisting us so these learners are very excited because there's lots of sponsor that came through and they are getting this uh, i would say free of charge because they come from no fee schools so again they are going to get this education with no pay, with not pay without paying any fees so it's really, really exciting for them. You could have seen them during the day. They were on top of the moon. Um, uh, uh, young learners who are 16 years old, who are doing grade 10, and those that are post-metric, who have just written their metric, who did not know where will they go after mm. metric because some of them could not afford or, or could not, did not apply, but now they found themselves being part of this project. So it's really, really exciting to everybody, yeah. even their parents who were there. Yeah, so it's something good for them. Mm. And what kind of uh, you know professions will they be exposed to? I mean, earlier on you spoke about pilots and engineers. Uh, you know, I'm sure it's a vast uh, number of career options uh, they will have once uh, they complete this program. Yes, there's a vast um, uh, um, majority of 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 oh, sorry of careers that they will be exposed to. Because um, uh, these learners, they are, um, they are taken through a course called Integrated Air Transport Pilot, which will take them immediately from the air school to uh, employment, because the 43 air school offers that for them. And um, they will they, they, they will choose. Of course, there's a variety, because even air engineering has got a lot of specialization. I'm told it's about 32 or 16 disciplines, yes. And and of course, pilot and, and anything that is related with that. So it's, it's, a, it's a huge opportunity for them uh, that they'll be exposed to. All right. Um, uh, thank you so much uh, for your time uh, and for that insight in terms of, uh, you, you know, a number of uh, young uh, learners uh, who will be able to benefit uh, from this very important program that was launched today in the Eastern Cape. That is the Chief Director for Curriculum at the Eastern Cape Department of Education, Kulegazi Bula, giving us uh, in terms of an expanding more on that program.